Hey everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer, and today we'll be taking a look at how the Hollywood Rack's destination two bike platform rack fits on the 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee. So the Destination 2 is really popular as an affordable platform rack. It doesn't really have the premium features you would expect from premium racks like tilting away, but it still offers really good stability and it's very lightweight and compact. So if you want to keep it inside your car or just make something easy for you to lift out of your garage and onto your vehicle, this might be the one for you. So right off the bat, this cannot tilt away. If you want to open up your hatch, you're going to have to take your bike off. So the way your bike is mounted to this rack is you have three touch points. One and two are going to be your wheel straps, front and back tire. And then the third is going to be the frame mount. I really like the frame mount for this price point because it's low, so you don't have to lift your bike as high, and you have a lot of movement there. So whether you have a mountain bike or a step through bike or a children's bike, this works better with those. You don't have to get a separate adapter bar. Now when you want to take the bike off, you actually start at the wheel straps. There's a lever there. You just press that lever that disengages the strap so that you can lift it out of its holder. And I like to just twist it and leave it underneath the rack so it doesn't get up, caught up in the spokes. So that's one, and here's the second one, and then going over to the frame. Now, for different bikes, you're going to do this differently. I use my elbow to support the bike as I disengage this strap here, and then try to get that out and off that frame. There we go. Now, be careful here. The reason you need to support your bike is so it doesn't tilt back towards your window. So here you're going to hold on to the bike, bring that over, and now you're ready to go for a bike ride and hit the trails. So with the bike off, you can see the curved design of our cradles there. That way for your different wheel bases, this will help carry your bike's frame, or I guess your wheels. This tilts back and forth to accommodate for them. And let's see if we can open up the hatch with the mast up. Going up, yep. We do have clearance with the mast in the up position. And that means you can just grab whatever you need, whether it's your waters, your helmets, your backpacks, hang out at the hatch if you want to. And you don't have to move this down. Now for other vehicles, you may have to remove or bring the mast down to do so. You have to loosen this knob. And then you can lift up on this anchor. Then you tighten that knob back down. And that allows you to pivot this down. I like to use the wheel cradle strap just to secure that mast. And then it doesn't go anywhere. So this position makes it easier for you to fold it up, put it away. So this is a compact rack and won't take up much space with it in the down position. From the bumper to the end of the rack, it says at exactly two feet. So definitely something worth considering when you're backing into your garage or parking into a tight spot. Yeah, it doesn't take up that much space, but still something worth remembering. For ground clearance, you measure from the end of the rack to the ground 18 inches. Right there where the reflector is, that's going to be 22 and a half inches off the ground. Since this has a weight capacity of 35 pounds per bike, you really shouldn't be lifting anything super duper heavy onto this rack anyways. And you have a pretty good height there where you're not worried about bobbing out onto the ground. We're going to lift this up for an even more compact position. So there's this knob here. Just loosen that knob, let it fall, and then lift the rack up and tighten that knob right back down. This is gonna be your portable position. This is gonna be how you'll store it on your vehicle when you're not planning on going out for a bike ride or if you wanna store this inside your garage. So from the bumper to the end of the rack, it's now one foot or 12 inches away from your bumper. So pretty much have the amount of space it takes up. It's really small, it's really compact. Let's see if we can open up the door. And just like that, the door is able to go up. 
So even with it folded up, you don't lose your storage capacity. This makes it a lot easier to put away groceries without having to take your rack off. Other things about this, as you can see, obviously, full visibility through here. Your backup camera is visible. Your taillights are visible. Your rear view mirror is visible. It's almost like you don't have a rack on your car at all. Now this has an inch and a quarter shank with a two inch hitch adapter. Something worth considering there is that the anti-rattle bolt does have a lock on there so your bike is secure. The anti-rattle bolt helps a lot with the side to side motion but there will be a little bit of up and down motion. Not that much, plus once your bikes are on there, it's gonna take out most of that movement. It's still something worth considering the difference between an inch and a quarter versus a two inch shank. But other than that, it's lightweight, it's compact. If you wanna carry around four bikes, there's a version of this that has a four bike platform rack, will take up more space too. But if you like this design, and you're okay with the 35 pound weight capacity, definitely an option worth considering. So this right here was a look at the Hollywood Racks Destination 2-Bike Platform Rack on the 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee.